So welcome to Papa Bear's Peppers and I'm Harold and today I'm going to be trying a new one. This is another one from John Barlock. This is what he had been considered as a chocolate reaper. This one, now he, he doesn't think it really has that shape. He calling it an unknown pepper. But we're going to eat it and I'm going to call it a chocolate reaper. We'll see what it does to me. Uh, as, as you know, I, I've been uh, doing quite a bit of these and, and I wanted to give this one a shot. I told him I would eat one just to see what it does. You know, I got to give him a shot, see where we're at with this. Uh, uh, one thing I do like about it, if you can notice, I'm going to get this closer so you can see all the little bumps and ridges on it. It's almost indicative of a seven pot. So maybe even a brain strain if you can see all those. Uh, really nice looking pepper is very symmetrical. So let's go ahead and cut it open and see what we got. Go ahead and pop the pin. <laughs> Speaking of. My black rifle coffee mug, love this thing. My grenade. So, if you ever tried black rifle coffee, that's some really good coffee. Veteran owned, veteran owned. So, we're gonna go ahead and cut this one open, see what we got. We'll see what we got. Oh yeah, we got good oil on that one. You can see that glistening. That's a wet one. We'll see what kind of heat we're gonna get from this one. I can already smell the, the fragrance of it. This is gonna be a fragrant pepper for sure. Uh, yeah, he had grown this this year. Uh, it was it was uh, labeled as a chocolate reaper, but obviously it uh, lacks a tail. But you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm going to make sure to leave all the placenta in here. Let me go ahead and give you a view of this before I get too crazy with it. Show you what it looks like before I scrape out some of these seeds because I do plan to grow this one. Why not? Look at that. I try and get that angled so you can see the oil inside of there. And we'll see how this one's going to do. Been on a little bit of a tear lately, as you can tell. Been really going after these peppers. And now it's fresh pod season. And I tell you what, uh, honestly, I'm kind of in rare form with the peppers and my tolerance, my ability to handle them. I don't know. Um, can't explain it, but I've been just like craving them and really enjoying them. So I've been eating them. Uh, Got to really look at that, how heavy that placenta is in there that's almost solid in there it's gonna be a cooker i'm sure of it so we're gonna find out anyway aren't we I have a feeling this one's gonna have a good burn to it it's just it's got good oil it's got a heavy placenta and usually that combination equals a pretty hot pepper. So we're gonna see what's gonna go on with this one. Making sure I don't, oh, I gotta get that back. I lost a little bit of that placenta. I'll stuff it in the pepper. Got two peppers here um, that are gonna be coming up. I'm gonna redo a yellow fever Coming up. I don't know how this pepper is going to hit me, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to make any claims 
to doing it, but I'll put that placenta right back in. Oh, that's all seeds pretty much. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. So anyway, we have here, again, got it all together. And you can see there's plenty in there. This is what he calls an unknown, but a chocolate reaper is what it was identified as. So we're going to give it a shot. The first taste was actually, again, a little sweet. A little, a little floral on this one. That, that does have seeds in it. I can tell I'm chewing on them. That was a little bit more floral. It started out a little sweet, but it got really floral. So we're going to see how this one does. <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out <clears throat> where the heat is going to go on this. It's some is in the, <clears throat> the back of my throat. Uh, uh. <sighs> Trying to get that. Got seeds now stuck in my teeth. Trying to pick them out. That is... So I almost had notes of a maruga in there. Uh, the heat is building some. It's on my tongue and in the back of my throat. So it's got good heat. Uh, That's probably got that. That's right up there with the uh, that big black mama, heat wise. That's a warm pepper. It's got a little. It's got some fire to it. Um, it 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 ramped up a little bit more. It's probably. Between a seven and an eight right now, it's it's warm. If you're a non-chili head, you made a mistake. Uh, that's that's a warmer pepper than some of the other ones. Uh, I actually brought a tear to my eye. Uh, it's a, it's, it didn't go to the back of my throat like I would expect from a Primo or a Reaper. It's, some is back there. It's a mouth burn. So. <clears throat> if you think coffee is helping this burn, you're wrong. Uh. That was a that was a pretty good pepper. That had some fire to it. I'd say I was right up there with the that one was right up there probably with the Prima Tali uh, and uh, Big Black Mama. Better heat. It started out, I was like, I wonder if it's going to ramp up, but it did. Uh, so 
So I have moved and migrated some back to the throat. Started out in my mouth, uh, but it migrated some, so. It's probably definitely got some form of Reaper, Primo, whatever uh, in it. That's a good pepper. Uh, if you're a non-chili head, you're you're probably you're full blown. That it it brought tears to my eyes. So <sighs> tolerable, but definitely a hotter pepper. <clears throat> Had some good heat to it. I would say I was pretty close to my, definitely close to my red, uh, my red uh, death spiral for sure. That was a, it had better heat to it. It's manageable, but it's up there. It's a eight, but. Uh, that one probably was hotter than the Primo I ate. It's a chocolate. They tend to be hotter. They definitely have moved to my throat. Uh, <clears throat> a florally taste to it. It, did, it. it had a sweet note up front and then it went floral. That would probably be a better powder. <clears throat> Definitely be a good powder. So, uh, if you ever want to try some, try, try drinking uh, coffee and eating a super hot pepper. That'll test you, yeah. uh, but it's definitely, a, I'd say it was probably an eight, but honestly, I'm just doing really good at managing the heat these days, so... It definitely peaked. It's good pepper. Excuse me. It was kind of a blend of flavors of the, like I said, it was a, a sweet, it, it, at first it went on my tongue, like a really good mouth burn, and then it moved to back to my throat. Again, That had good heat to it. Uh, it's a non chili head. You're definitely at your 10 right now. If you've been eating peppers and you're used to the heat, you can do it. But you're going to know you ate a pepper. <coughs> It was up there pretty good. Uh, that was a real good pepper. That was a better one, John. I, I tell you, that one had, that had a little cook to it. Got one more that I'm gonna be trying here real soon. This is John's version of the yellow fever. I did Bill's version. That one's gonna be coming up real soon. So, we'll see how that one goes. Again, also, I'm going to be uh, building a short on that ferment pot that I did that uh, I had given to me by a coworker, Cliff Schultz. Um, I found out he actually harvested the clay. 
that clay is organic that he that he made that pot out of so that's pretty cool i think so anyway i still got that's why I didn't get a lot of seeds out of there, but I still had some in there, and I got one right now. That's legitimately wedged in my teeth. Trying to get it out. And that's why I don't like having the seeds in there. So, anyway, I'm starting to come down off it. I got a little bit of buzz on that one. A little bit. You know, I got a, a little endorphin rush, which... That's good. I don't, I don't get a lot of them very often anymore. I do, but they're very light now. Uh, but yeah, that was definitely a better heat. I think, in, well, to me anyway, it was a lot closer to my, my death spiral crosses. I would say I'd give that one a, it went up there to about an eight on heat, a seven, eight. Had a mouth burn and then it went to my throat. And you, you know, when I got to my throat is probably when it was, I was feeling it more. But that was, again, a non chili head. You're, you're spiked. You're, you're done. That's not me making it up. It's true. If you ate that pepper and you're not used to eating heat right now, you're just, you're probably freaking out. Uh, <clears throat> if you're a chili head and you haven't been eating a lot of peppers, that one's going to get your attention. For sure. Absolutely. So. All right. Well, that was a great pepper. That was grown by John Barlock. Not sure of the creator on that. I'll post something right there. And, you know, who, who uh, created that one. Been on kind of a tear lately. Uh, doing a lot of super hot peppers. And I want to do some content here soon to show off what's out there. And uh, the, uh greenhouses because even though it's absolutely freezing all the peppers outside right now are just, they're done but the ones in a the greenhouse they're fired up because i keep the greenhouses heated and with the heaters in there they're doing quite well so anyway this is harold with papa bear's peppers have a great day and keep growing